Jesus is betrayed with a kiss. The soldiers brought Jesus before Pilate, who wanted to set Jesus free. The high priests and the elders accused him that he said that he was the Son of God. They shouted, Crucify him! In the power of the Spirit, Jesus traveled through the land and healed the sick, the blind and the lame, and he raised the dead. He brought the happy news to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first and to receive eternal life. Lord, you gave your life so we can find it. Give us your joy that will never end. Jesus takes up his cross. He could ask 12 legions of angels, but he wants to carry on his cross. During the Last Supper, he gave his disciples a new commandment. Love each other as I love you. The night before, Jesus prayed in terrible anguish that the Father would take this cup from him. Then Peter tried to defend Jesus with his sword and cut off the ear of a soldier, but Jesus healed him. Lord, I offer you all my sufferings, I trust in you, and together we fulfill God's will in my life. Jesus falls under the cross. He so longed to celebrate the Last Supper, to break the bread and drink the wine. Eat, this is my body given for you. Drink, this is my blood of the new covenant. Jesus blessed the five breads and the two fishes, and it was more than enough for everyone. Now they choose to release Barabbas instead of Jesus. Now he is like grain that falls into the earth. Lord, you are the bread of life, the true vine. Let us hunger and thirst for your words, your love. Jesus said that everyone who listens to the words of God would be like a house built on a rock. Once again, Mary comes to her child, like the day he was missing and they found him in the temple. He had to be in the house of the Father, now he has to be here and Mary has to stay with him. As the angel declared her, he will reign forever and God will fulfill his promise. God is with her. Mary, every generation will praise you. Pray for me, now and in the hour of my death. Jesus can't go on. Then Simon of Cyrene comes from the field. He just passes by. The soldiers force him to carry Jesus' cross, and a large number of people follow them to Golgotha. Remember that Jesus invited all people Take my burden upon you and learn from me, I'm meek and humble. He comforted all that were weary and exhausted. Now the cross is too heavy, who will comfort him? Lord, your cross gives rest to our souls. Make my cross easy to carry and enlighten my burden. Soldiers had put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head, spit it in his face and beat at him terribly. During his lifetime, he taught them to turn the other cheek when they would be beaten, as he is now. A woman named Veronica dares to approach Jesus. He had cured her and gave back her life. Now she cleans his face receiving his love and his image, a short moment remembered forever. Lord, when I see you, I see the Father. 
Show me your face and I am saved. Are you the Christ? The high priest asked. And Jesus told them, Yes, I am. His death sentence. When he went to Jerusalem, he predicted everything that comes to pass now. Jesus falls again. Once, when the disciples almost drowned in the lake, he saved them, and the wind lay down at once. And on the mountain, they saw his face shining like the sun. He woke them up. Again, Jesus rises. Lord, like the waves and the winds, let us listen to your voice and receive all the strength we need. A few women mourn when Jesus comes by and he tells them not to grieve for him, but for themselves. Behold the Lamb of God that carries the sins of the world. Now Jesus carries them and their children. His fame was spread everywhere. Everybody praised him, but now all have abandoned him. That moment that Jesus wept over the temple, predicting all would be destroyed, now he seems to be. Lord, when I'm broken and destroyed, please send me your spirit to comfort me and everyone who comes into my life. Jesus falls again. He warned his disciples that they would leave and forsake him. And that Peter would denounce him three times before the rooster crows two times. It comes to pass. He cries bitterly. But Peter remembers how many times Jesus said to forgive if asked. Seven times seventy. After Jesus' resurrection, he asks Peter three times if he loves him and to take care of his lambs. Lord, the Father has trusted everything in your hands. May we never give up on you. The soldiers mocked, Hail, King of the Jews, and now they cast lots and divide Jesus' clothes. Jesus said, to his followers, if they would clothe the poorest of the poor, they would be clothing him. He posed the question, who could add a single hour to his life? For life is more than food and clothes. During his life, Jesus freed many people from evil spirits. Who will free Jesus from this hour? Lord, you are my real treasure. Guard me with your love and set me free. The soldiers crucify Jesus and he prays, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they do. Two criminals are also crucified. One of them mocks Jesus to save them if he's really the Messiah. The other says, Jesus did nothing wrong and begs him, Think of me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus promises him, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord, lifted up above the earth, draw all people to you and deliver us from evil. Darkness came over the whole land, and Jesus prays, My God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus said, He didn't come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. He looks at his mother. Woman, here is your son. And to John he says, Here is your mother. Like Simeon foretold her, now a sword pierced her soul. Jesus speaks, it is fulfilled, and he dies. Lord, you are the true light, shine in our darkness, 
and show us God's mercy. The earth shakes and the rocks split. The curtain of the temple is torn into two, from top to bottom. One of the soldiers pierces Jesus' side with a sword, and blood and water flow from the deep wound. The centurion, who witnessed everything, praises God and shouts, Surely, this is the Son of God. Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus wrap Jesus' body in linen cloth with myrrh and aloes. Mary, once you wrapped your firstborn in linen, now lay Jesus down in the manger of my heart. They buried Jesus in Joseph's tomb, in a garden nearby, and they rolled a massive stone for the entrance. Mary still believes in Jesus' promise that he will rise from the dead. She keeps praying. Like the first night when the shepherds told her that angels announced them, Christ your Savior is born. Jesus promised his disciples that he would return, and when he appears to them, they shall rejoice. Lord, the disciples ate with you and touched your wounds. Give us your peace and heal us. Early in the morning, the women come to the tomb and see that the heavy stone has rolled away. An angel of God tells them, He is risen like He has said, and they hurry to tell the disciples. Suddenly, Jesus meets them, reveals Mary of Magdalene, I am ascending to my Father and your Father. He also joins two disciples on the road to Emmaus. They recognize Jesus and their heart burns. Lord, send us to bring the happy news everywhere we go. Come, Lord Jesus, come. We adore you, Jesus, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you redeemed the world. Let us celebrate your meal in unity and drink the cup of life. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen.